Hi friends and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create some scrolling text like this, like something straight out of Star Wars. Back here in PowerPoint, the first thing you're going to need is the background image of a sky. I'm a big fan of the site Pixabay. Here you can get royalty free images and I just did a search for starry sky. Feel free to use one of these or one of your own if you have it. And then coming back here to the slide, I'll just drag that over. I do need to do a little bit of cropping and resizing to get it to fit the slide. So I'll do that really quickly here. Perfect. All right, now we need the text. So come up here to insert text box. I'll just drag a fairly large text box here. And I've got some text on my clipboards, just the standard lorem ipsum text. It's black, so you can't see it right now, but I'll change that in just a minute. But feel free to use whatever text you want here. And I'll do a control A to select all of that. And then for the color of the font or the text, I'll come up here and make this a gold color. And if you're trying to get it to look exactly like Star Wars, you can find different information about the fonts and whatnot online. It has changed over the years, but let's go with a size 48. And it's okay if that runs off the slide, no worries. And then for the font family here, I'm gonna go with a Franklin Gothic. This is also something you can play with until you get it just right. Franklin Gothic book is what I landed on. And then we're also gonna make this bold. So clicking that here, and then we'll want to justify it as well instead of left align. There we go. All right, next thing we need to do is change the perspective of the text box. So rather than having the text itself selected, select on the edge of it right here. And then you wanna come up to shape format and then text effects right here. Depending on the size of your ribbon, you might just see this glowing A, but text effects is what you want. And then come down to 3D rotation and we'll choose right here under perspective the perspective relaxed option. There we go. And then we need to adjust the position of this text box. Now I'm gonna zoom way out so we can see the whole thing here. But we basically need to start the text at the very bottom of the slide. So I'm just gonna select the text box, drag it down here. And then I'm also going to make it a little bit wider and make sure you're centering that on the slide. I'll go a little wider still. And a little more. Play with this until you get it just right. Put something right about there. Okay, now let's get some animation going here. With the text box selected, come up to animations. And the one we want is a little bit buried. So come down here to your drop down arrow. It is gonna be a motion path but it's not one of the six shown here by default. So come into more motion paths. And the one we want is up right here. So select up and okay. And if you haven't worked with motion paths before, you'll see there's a green dot here and a red dot. The green shows where the animation should start and the red shows where it should stop. So we're okay starting where the green is, but we do need to grab this red dot here. So if you hover over it and click it, your mouse should be this arrow here. And then drag that to the very top of the slide. You might wanna hit the shift key down to make sure you're dragging it straight. Up to the top of the slide, right there. You might need to zoom out to see that. I think I need to zoom out, here we go. So there's the red dot right at the top. And the green dot's still where it started. I just clicked out of the text box there. It might be giving you kind of a preview and it's a little bit hard to see what's going on. But if we select it again, we need to go add an animation. So here on animations still, don't just click on one of these here, that will change it. What you wanna do is come into add animation. This one is gonna be an emphasis animation for grow and shrink. and we're getting a little bit of a preview there. Go ahead and open up your animation pane. And you wanna select this top one here for the up animation. Open the effects, so click the arrow here, effect options. 
Here we want to do a smooth start and end of zero seconds. You can just type in zero there. And the duration for this one, this will depend what you're trying to do, but I'm going to make mine 20 seconds, so fairly slow. And we'll click OK. Getting a bit of a preview there. If you don't want to wait, you can just say stop right here. And then select the Grow Shrink animation. And similar steps come into the drop down arrow here, Effect Options. And this one for size, rather than 150%, we want to go with 10%. So just type in 10, and then you do need to hit the Enter key here to get that to take. And then on the Timing tab, we're going to say that this one should start with Previous rather than on Click. And this one, let's also make this 20 seconds to match. All right, click OK. It's giving us a preview, but let me just start this slide and we'll see how it looks. So I had to click there to get it to start. And you'll see it's looking pretty good, but what we want is to have it kind of fade into the background there, fade into the slide. So let's work on that part next. So here what I want to do is select the star background, this image that we started with. And I'll copy and paste, Control C, Control V. So now we have two images. There's going to be one that's laid on top. And this one on top, we want to crop it. So if you just double click it, you'll get the crop option right up here. We want to crop it to be half that size. We only want the top of it. So crop the bottom half out. I'll just click out of that and make sure it's aligned. There we go. Now if I were to play this as it is now, I'll speed this up just so we don't have to wait that full amount of time. And here you'll see that it is fading behind that front image, but we don't want it to be kind of cut off really choppy that way. So what we can do is select this half image here under the Picture Format tab, come to Picture Effects, Soft Edges, and let's make this the very softest edge that we can, the 50 point on the bottom right here. And now the text will have a nice fade effect as it goes behind the image. So let me play this one more time. And we will observe our masterpiece here. And of course you can speed this up, slow it down, resize the text, change the color of text, whatever you need to do. But you'll see that's fading nicely there behind that image and going into the universe. So there you go, kind of a fun way to use text and animation in your presentations. I hope you can put it to good use. If you like this, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button. And also think about subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.